yeah, I mean, if you compare Oakland City to a big club in, in Barcelona, well, in Catalonia, uh, obviously there's a lot of differences in there, you know, the big clubs over there are, are very big. So the relation, relationship in between the top people and the players uh, are not so close to the relationship between the players here and, and you know, the coaching staff and obviously the other uh, people at the club. Everything is, you know, we're a small club, everything is tighter. Uh, it's more like a family. I mean, I know it's a topic, but uh, it is, it feels like that, you know. I mean, you, you know a lot of people that are supporters, you know them pretty well. Where if you were to Barcelona, obviously you wouldn't know many of the people unless they were, you know, related to you, close related to you. So that that's probably the difference. I mean, and, and it makes, and again, as you know, as I heard, for example, Emiliano saying that it makes it, it makes it really good because, yeah, you feel like uh, supported at all times. You know what I mean? Rather, when you're in a, in a big club like that, sometimes you feel like you're isolated, especially when you're the head coach. You know what I mean? When things don't go that well, then you probably feel that you're a little bit on your own. Uh, and here, when things go tough, you still feel that heat, you know, from the people surrounding you, which makes it really good. Again, uh, I think it's uh, it's just a matter of focusing on every week, you know, and uh, it's as simple as that. If you if you you know focus your concentration or you concentrate on something that is coming you know later on in a, in a couple of months or now coming in four or five weeks time obviously you're going to lose focus and it's as simple as that so we we've got in the back in the back room obviously we've got a big plan where we consider every single thing so we plan to make sure that when we've got those important competitions and those important moments you know during the year we're at our best or close to our best uh, but with the players and you know when we yeah, when we prepare for every game we prepare for that game as if it was a final all right so there's things uh, during the week that involve tactics you know organization towards you know that game on the weekend and how we want to approach that game to make sure we've got a good opportunity to win it you know without thinking about you know two or three weeks time you know what's going to happen you know what I mean? so that's that's yeah obviously we've got a in terms of fitness and uh, as well tactics you know we've got an overall plan so during the week we might be doing something that is going to help us in the future you know but uh, as soon as the game approaches uh, as i said before as soon as the game approaches uh, we we got we're focusing on that game and the things that we need to readjust to make sure we've got we we have a good go at the game and we try to win it it's uh it's a probably a funny reaction or weird reaction sometimes because mm -hmm. but in spain and catalonia the uh the football is considered the number one sport, you know, everything goes around football at the end of the day. So you've got football every day on TV, on the radio, newspapers, you know, just dedicating most of their pages to football. So uh, the reaction is different. When you go, when you're, when you're local and you go overseas, sometimes it feels like you disappear from the, uh, from the world of football, you know what I mean? Because you've gone away, especially coming to New Zealand, which is on the other side of the world. You feel like you've disappeared from the scene, you know, basically sometimes. But obviously when it comes down to a club or cup, then uh, it's like you come back straight into it because it's the biggest event and then everyone, everyone over there feels proud to have someone, you know, a local one. Uh, obviously head coaching a, a club that's going to participate at a club or cup and especially someone who's coaching overseas, you know, which is even more difficult because you're not coaching in your mother tongue, you're coaching in a different language and it makes things actually more difficult, you know. So it's a quite of a, I would say, funny thing, a 50-50 thing where sometimes you, you disappear from the map and then you come back and then everyone is really proud of you. So. In terms of feelings, I don't really know how I feel actually about that, but it's still you know, it's the way it's the way it is, and obviously that's probably in terms of the ranking, you know, the football ranking, the top place in the world, and it's understandable when you when you go away from the top place, obviously you're not going to be you're gonna you're gonna disappear from the map, and that's it's understandable. It's understandable. I could tell you. Probably there's two different stories here. Obviously the coaches that have worked with me, the coaches that I work together with. So I've got a lot of influence from someone who was my probably mentor in terms of you know sharing experiences. That was Ernest Calero, who's the first coach that I shared with you know in, in Spain, actually in that second second division. Um, and I learned a lot of a lot of them, you know, in terms of organisation, in terms of organising the whole thing, you know. Uh, yeah, and a lot of things, you know, are adapted from him. 
all right so that was great to me you know to have a, a mentor like him and I was again privileged to to share with him uh, three years of my especially the first three years of my coaching career you know so that's in terms of who I shared with you know obviously there's always other things in there you know the, the things that you 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 find yourself more comfortable with you know obviously you've got a you've got a, a lot of experience coming from oh, I started playing football at seven you know and then started watching football since I was a kid so a lot of things influence your life in terms of the playing and in terms of the coaching and uh, I'm from Barcelona so obviously you always looked at that club and what the club that used to do and what the club does now I used to go to stadium, you know, I went to the stadium for 10 years, so I've got a lot of influence from that club and the way they play and the way they behave, the, the philosophy of the club, the ideas of the club, you know. And so part of it, part of my style obviously comes from uh, what I learned, you know, from being uh, in some respects involved at the club, you know, in the past in my, my life as a, as a player and as a coach, obviously. You know.